That's ironstone. Yeah, it sounds different. Screwdriver up under here. Okay, go ahead and get some foil. You just gotta get that back end up. Okay. Gonna ask for some foil. Just wrap it up to begin with. Yeah, I can see it wiggling. So. This part here. Here, hold on, stop for a second. Let me get this uncovered for the camera. What if it turns out to be a jaw?
started. Do what? Just started. <clears throat> uh, I I just kind of worked around the edge, but not well, your video. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely let's clear a little more of that matrix off of there and and we'll put some glue on that. There's looks like a little bob underneath there. Finally got this is actually one end here we finally made it down to the other end so the entire length of my hand and forearm this is the longest rib section I've ever uncovered so now we'll just have to uh, do some gluing and uncover some more and get it down to the point where hopefully we can take it out of here in one piece. Perfect. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Let's see if we can work this out to one piece. I'm going to start going along underneath. If you'll start coming along straight down behind it. Yeah, it's moved brick and here. Yeah. Again. Might just glue that part quite a bit and let it sit for a while. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go up for a quick drink. Yep. And now it's raining on us, but thankfully not too bad, and we've got a nice canopy. So, it's wet out there. We can stay dry under here and keep working. That wasn't it. Nope, that wasn't it. There is more underneath it. I knew we weren't going to make it home once you say it was All right. Really cool find here. Sorry I didn't get it on video because, uh, like a lot of fossils, it really didn't look like anything at the beginning. And it wasn't until I got a long way into uncovering it that I realized what it, that it might actually be something and took it for verification. So, this is what I pulled out. Now, I know a lot of you look at that and it just looks like a rock. What this actually is, is a scoot which is a piece of armor plating from an ankylosaur. Now it's still got a lot of rock matrix on here, so it just kind of looks like rock, but you can see 
that deep blackish purplish bone color exposed here and there's some here and there's some here and where this was broke right here it had that deep black purple color to it and that and when as soon as I saw that that's how I knew that it was actually most likely a bone and not just a piece of rock because these rocks let me show you we have all different sizes of this kind and see that looks the same but the problem is these are just that orange all the way through they don't have that see the difference in color there when you see that color you know it's not just a plain rock alrighty this has been a pretty good spot because right here this is where we had one we had one rib section right here we had another rib section right here we had a nano tyrannus tooth here what did we have over here this was just the uh, bone part that was was that oh uh, the, large. that this was a giant piece of turtle shell that was right here no, the turtle shell was here okay this is the turtle shell this was that it's filled in here but this is where that one big chunk of bone we pulled okay and then that scoot came from right here so that's four good finds that were all just right here together okay i'm going to show you this i did not i didn't get this part on film this is the first part of it that i saw and this is what has come out this part right here is broken off it is still on the ground i'm working on recovering that you can see the shape of it it's very unusual <clears throat> and so we'll set that there this is what is still in the ground so that's what i am working on right now seeing if we can get that out in one piece and see what the heck it is Unfortunately, my camera died and it ate the ending footage from this. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot left to get it out of the ground. I, basically, in this, you saw what, what all there was to it. Uh, really kind of a strange looking piece. I took it up to Walter. I turned it over to him. He's going to uh, kind of investigate it, try and figure out what it is. Uh, right now, the preliminary thought on it is that it is the, the front portion of the nasal cavity of a, a duckbill dinosaur. And uh, you can see right here uh, which Porsche I'm talking about. It, it's got a lot of the same features. So uh, so that's what I'm going with right now until I hear back with a more definite answer.